Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I finally got it. Oh my gosh. I have been waiting for this diamond painting all oh, for ages. This is, it's so humongo, I have my camera up as high as it goes and I'm still not going to get it all in camera. This is from Diamond Art Club. This is only my second diamond painting I've ever gotten from Diamond Art Club. They are a little more pricey, but oh, they are just awesome diamond paintings. They are just gorgeous. I have been waiting and waiting for this baby to come back in stock because when I first seen it, it's like, oh, I want that diamond painting in the worst way. And it's been out of stock and out of stock and out of stock. I had gotten an email from this particular uh, artist because um, I'm on the email list and just for the heck of it, it reminded me and maybe I'll just, you know, for the heck of it, I'm going to go over on Diamond Art Club and see if it's available and guess what? It was available for pre-order. I was so excited. Um, now this thing was not supposed to even be shipped until September. I wasn't expecting it for at least two to three weeks and it showed up a couple days ago and I'm like wow oh what an awesome surprise and I needed it that day because it was not a good day. So I purposely in the description and thumbnail did not indicate what diamond painting this was because I wanted it to be a surprise. I have not opened it, so I haven't even really seen what it looks like in person, so I can't wait to see it either. Oh, I am so excited. This is the second largest diamond painting I have. <laughs> um, only second to my huge waterfall that I've been working on forever. And that one is a 70 by 90. And this one comes close. <laughs> so, I don't want you... Ooh, sorry. I don't want you to see the picture on the outside of the box. So, let's see. That's way down here. Yeah. Don't want you to see that. Let me grab my scissors. I don't want to dig into the box. So, I'm going to put that down there because, like I said, the picture's way down at the other end. I don't want to show you it yet. I want it to be a surprise. Okay, maybe I should have done this ahead of time, but sorry. It's an unboxing. Oh, gosh. It's almost as irritating as uh, nails on a chalkboard, isn't it? Sorry. Okay. Okay, I, th I think, I think, I think we might have it. They box up their diamond paintings so nice, because not only do you get it in an awesome, pretty box, but then they put it in a nice, long cardboard box on top of it, so you know you're going to get your diamond painting in pristine condition. Okay, let's open it up. I'm so excited. Can you tell? Ooh, here we go, here we go, and it's the beginning, and it goes on, and on, and on. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the width. That is not the length, that is the width. <laughs> yeah, see, yeah, mm -hmm. Alrighty, let's we'll see if I'm able to get it back in the box later, because I need it back in the box for packing up when I move. All right, let's, 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 let's unroll it and you'll be able to see. You'll see, you'll recognize it if you buy from Diamond Art Club at all. Um, you will recognize this uh, in a hurry. Some of you will probably have this diamond painting when it first came on Diamond Art Club. This particular artist has quite a few diamond paintings available on Diamond Art Club. Have I said Diamond Art Club enough? 
<laughs> okay. Oh, it's so soft. Oh, your canvases, like I said, are second to none. Okay, is this the bottom or the top? Here it goes. You recognize it yet? Here it goes. Oh my god, this is so pretty. This is Hannah Lynn. Ah! Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. Ah! So this is her off to the ball picture. Is that not gorgeous? Oh my gosh. This was my favorite picture of hers. And when I seen this on Diamond Art Club um, in all its glory, I'm like, oh my gosh, I want that. I want that. I want that. Um, this is a full square, so it will take a little longer to do. There are 55 colors in this baby. And so there are a lot of symbols, which doesn't necessarily bother me. Um, my huge waterfall is the majority are all symbols too. So there's a couple numbers in here, just a couple of letters, but the rest are all symbols. I love the fact that you get this separate sheet with the whole color palette or your key on it. it does have the number and then the symbol, and then the DMC code. So when you um, set, you know, when you kit it up, you can either put it by number or DMC. I, I have a tendency of doing it by the DMC code because I'm familiar with those colors then, and it kind of tells me, you know, if it's 310, I know right where it is, and I put them in order then um, in my tray that I kit them up in. But yes, off to the ball by Hannah Lynn. Oh, so pretty. It is a 70 by 88. So, like I said, just a teeny tiny bit smaller by two centimeters than my huge waterfall. That works out to 27.6 inches by 34.6 inches. So, yeah, this is going to be a big one. And like my waterfall, this is going to be one that I'm going to have professionally framed. Yes, I'm going to want this baby hanging up on my wall. So, yes, let's get back to looking at this gorgeous canvas. Let's get all the drills. Oh my gosh, this thing is so heavy. Oh, so it's going to be heavy once it's done, too. Here you get your step-by-step -step instructions if you are new to diamond painting, which I'm not. I've been diamond painting for a few years now. That's why I have so many. Yeah, I needed this like I needed a hole in the head, but like I said, oh, I've been running this so long. Now, yeah, you can't even see the whole diamond painting, but... <laughs> like I said, I am up as high as I can go. So with it being this big, you can imagine the detail that is going to show up on this baby. Oh, ho, ho, ho. so this is the very top of the diamond painting. And their diamond paintings always say, do what makes you sparkle. Okay. Let's just look at the drill field. So I am going to zoom you down. And of course, their drill fields are perfect. Oh, look how easy that is to read. I mean, they are always crystal, crystal clear. I don't know what kind of printer Diamond Art Club uses, but boy, oh boy, it is exact and yeah. Every symbol, everything is just crystal, crystal clear. Um, their diamond paintings, as you can see by the clear cover, their diamond paintings are always poured glue. And yeah, they're always just, I mean, look at how just like glass that poured glue is. I mean, oh, you cannot beat the quality of a Diamond Art Club diamond painting. 
and the fact that they're here in the United States, you know, both those things combined is why they are more pricey than some of the budget-friendly uh, diamond painting uh, companies in like AliExpress. Um, not saying that many of the diamond uh, painting budget friendly companies are bad because they're not. Um, like Everyday E Deals, those diamond paintings are fantastic and you can get many of them for $3.99. You know, so I'm by no means putting down any of those other companies. It's just that, yeah, Diamond Art Club is just so far superior to any of the others. Um, and again, hence, hence the price tag. And again, because they are based here in the United States, you get them much faster. Look at her. Oh, look at the pinks in here. She is so pretty. And I just, I think it's the dress that really got me. All those gorgeous blues in this dress. So she's like a Cinderella. And then all these beautiful butterflies. And then, of course, we got to have some purples, right? Of course. And then the blue ruffles on the bottom. Ah, oh, so pretty. Can you tell I'm excited? Can you? Can you? Yes. Okay. I'm going to leave this here like this. And it flattens out so nice, too with this uh, type of canvas, this heavy canvas that they use. And the back is almost like velvet. It's so soft and it's got the scalloped edge. So yeah, right out of the box, it lays almost perfectly flat. There's no flattening you have to do to these canvases. Well, let's go through the first big of drills. It's going to take a little while to get through these. We'll see if I can pack them all back in order to get this bugger back into the box. I have all my diamond paintings packed up for the vast majority of the ones that fit in these great big flat boxes that Bob brought home from work that all of their bags go into. And yeah, this one won't fit in anything, so it's going to have to be by itself. Oh my gosh, right off the bat. Oh, these gorgeous blue ABs. Oh, and there's tons of them. So here's some three tens. We'll just start right off at the top. Bunch of three tens, and yeah, this is packed. Look at those. So there's a lot of blue ABs in her dress. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to seal this, I think, because. Well, I don't know if I want to do that. But I'm not sure if I want to put this back behind glass. Has anybody, or I'm assuming some of you have, when you frame yours, do you put yours behind glass or not? And if you put them behind glass, does that in any way whatsoever take away from the sparkle, especially ABs? Can you still see the iridescent of the ABs if you put it behind glass? Because I always framed my own. And, of course, I don't put them on glass. I have videos made last year where I showed how I do my own. On, uh, I make my own stretch canvases. And, uh, yeah. But again, and this is the first time that I've seen ABs on square drills. I know that they're out there, but it's the first time I've had them. Oh, God, I love that blue. Okay. Okay, that's enough. Let's look at the rest. Oh, pretty. I'm going to zoom you in even a little more. Oh, these things are packed full. Look at that purple. That's going to be down in the ruffles. Oh, unfold. There's some dark browns. Must be the same color. Beautiful green. Oh, look at that blue. We're going to have a lot of blues, aren't we? Oh, and that gorgeous pink. We're going to have quite a bit of pink, too, because of those curtains back there and the wagon wheels. Oh, some more gorgeous blues. 
You know I'm a purple lover, but all these shades of blues in here, oh, with that pink in the background, jeez. There's a pretty aqua type of blue. Look at these deep greens with this. I'm assuming that's the same color because we do have like grass and stuff in the background. Here's some of the blues in her dress because there must be darker blues too. There's like a midnight sky up there and, and a moon. Oh yeah, them aren't curtains. That's part of her carriage. Duh. So that's uh, the pink in her carriage. These pretty like jade greens are just gorgeous. I'm assuming that's going to be in her dress too. Oh, look at that blue. So pretty. Okay, we'll move that off to the side. There's definitely more. Just hang on. Yay. Yeah. And just a few of these. Real pale, pale yellows. And just a few of these pretty pinks. Oh, gorgeous orange. Oh, sure, I probably wasn't even on camera. My camera's up farther, too, than what I'm used to. I'm used to it being down here, so I'm off camera a lot. Oh, gosh, these pale yellows are also ABs. Can you see that? Not really, but they are. Trust me, they are. They're ABs. A little bit you can see that. Oh, pretty yellow-orange. Orange red, some more greens. Violet. Oh, one of my favorites, that gorgeous mint green. Pretty deep red. Oh, that's a pretty color, too. Oh, look at the dark pink. Oh, gosh, an AB pink. Oh gosh, there are so many AB colors in here. Oh, this baby is going to sparkle and glisten and glimmer. Pretty spring green. Ooh, look at this raspberry red. Love it. Like a pinkish tinge to that. Here's another pretty light jade or aqua type of green. Never purple pulling the bag along here. Here's a deep gray. Ooh, another pretty blue. Oh, look at these pinks. Oh, so pretty. And then, of course, the black again and the big pack of AB blues. Her dress is going to be stunning. Okay, so that was big one. <laughs> Let's get on to big two. This one feels even fuller. Oh my gosh, look at the three tens. <laughs> and there's more underneath. Oh my gosh. But I don't care. I don't mind three tens. I know some people are like, oh, look at all the three tens. I don't mind them. The only thing I don't like, and I know others kind of do, I like some block, you know, Diamond painting, it's the confetti that drives me crazy. I invariably miss a bunch and have to go back and fill them back in. Okay. Oh, my goodness sakes. Yes. Okay. We're going to have to turn this uh, long thing over. Oh, gosh. I can already see some gorgeous colors. So this looks to be a very dark blue. Is that 929, 939? Yep. Brown. Another really pretty green. That would be in the rolling hills behind her. Yellow tan. <gasps> Look at that color. Oh my gosh, I love that color. I'm assuming that's going to be in her carriage also. Oh, and the peach. Look at the purples. Is this my... No, that's not my favorite one yet. But I love it. 
Oh, I see it down here. Oh, I think, I think, yep. <laughs> oh, the white ABs. Ooh, not white. They're, they're a little off-white, but... Oh, it's so pretty. Bunch of browns. There's another kind of ochre color. Beautiful mint green. Oh my gosh, look at these colors. Oh, I have no idea when I'm going to get at to starting this thing with the move and everything, but... Oh, another pretty pink. Another real deep blue. Eight twenty-three, and here's that gorgeous blue. These are not AB though, but very similar to the AB, just a, a shade lighter. Isn't that stunning? But wait, there's more. <laughs> I always say that. Look at these beautiful dark greens. This is eight ninety. Here's my favorite purple, which is five fifty. Oh, and there's a lot in there. And then here they come. Ready? Three tens. One, two, and these packs are full. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Oh, and there's one here too. Eight packs. <laughs> Three tens. Because there's a lot of outlining that's all in black, which is really going to highlight the colors inside, don't you think? Oh, it's going to make all the colors just pop. And her eyes too. Oh, 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 oh. oh it's gorgeous. It is so gorgeous. So, yeah, and I'm sure, I am sure it is nice and sticky. Oh, yeah. And like I did with my um, waterfall, I always replace, especially on something this big, I replace the plastic with uh, parchment paper squares. I think I have six and a half by six and a half inch or six inch by six inch parchment squares that I got off of um, Amazon. So those work great. Make sure they're parchment squares or parchment paper, whatever you use, and it is not wax paper. You put wax paper on a diamond painting, you're going to completely ruin your diamond painting, whereas parchment paper, which is made entirely different than wax paper, has more of a release to it. So it releases off your diamond painting really nice. Um, so, yes. You guys are as excited as I am. <laughs> Again, I have no idea when I'm going to be able to start this baby because in the new house, I'm not sure where I'm going to be able to set up my drafting table which is where I do all my, you know, larger diamond paintings that I can't do in the chair in my lap. So, I don't know if it's going to have to be upstairs in my bedroom. I'll have to get a TV up there then for sure. Because <laughs> uh, that might be the only place I'm going to be able to put my uh, drafting table. This house I'm going to is... Quite a bit smaller than this one, so I had plenty of room in the living room here to put my uh, my drafting table, so I could, you know, be around where Bob is and stuff, and the TV and all of that. But that's okay. A lot of times I'm watching my uh, iPad anyhow. I'm watching YouTube videos and stuff, so maybe it won't be as big of a deal. So okay, anyhow, enough of that jabbering. Like I said, I'm so excited. Here is the completed picture. Let me zoom in again. If you uh, are not familiar, <laughs> the few of you that are not familiar with Hannah Lynn's work, um, this is from one of her coloring books, but this is her colored in version of it. So look at this beautiful night sky with the moon. 
the rolling green hills and all these beautiful shades of blue these gorgeous butterflies oh I think that's what really made it for me too is these beautiful butterflies with these colors ah ah <laughs> So, yeah, oh, we, I didn't even notice this. We have a castle in the background, too. Alrighty. I guess I'm going to attempt to box this back up, which I will, of course, do off camera. I think my uh, phone battery is getting kind of low anyhow. Yeah, we're down at 26%. So. Alrighty. So, I thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing as much as I did. And if you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. And as always, happy coloring and happy diamond painting. Bye, guys.